amazing that you look at like if somebody told me Pine Hills, I would think, oh, that's just that's not a great area to be in, you know? Because it's, I mean, I, people think it's dangerous, you know? But it's like, and or even the Berg right down in St. Pete, that like, you know, Najee's told me plenty of crazy things that went on in the Berg when he was there, you know? And it's like, how can you expect like? You can't put a whole bunch of people in a place and then tell them like, um, I don't know, like call it something other than what it is, right? Which was a place that they were put. It was, they weren't allowed to go anywhere else. So then that became a historic er a neighborhood for people that weren't given opportunities. And then they build up an identity there and then it's like, oh shit, this property is cheap as hell. We'll actually leave. I know this is where we put you guys, but just go somewhere yeah, else, right? Yeah. It doesn't make any yeah. sense. You know? Well, you know, uh, one of the most uh, restricted areas in all of Florida was Sanford. I remember, I don't know a lot about Sanford, but I I've, I've, I remember they have that, uh, they have like the Lake Mary City Hall that has old pictures of Sanford. And yeah. I mean, it was all turpentine in the old days from what I understand. Well, it was, it was the slave capital of Florida. I didn't know that. Yes, uh, and if, I mean, it has a tremendous history, restrictive history. Jeez. And big mansions, and and uh, they grew. Uh, it was mostly farmland, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Sanford has a sordid history. What do you just? I mean, out of that, I mean, was Sanford? Because I mean, the downtown is still there. You know, the downtown Sanford of the like historic buildings. Which is right on the lake. Yeah. Um, I don't remember. I can't well, remember. Well, most of the most of black folks lived on the plantations. Mm. Uh, a lot of what you see up around Twenty Fifth Street, Twenty Sixth Street, uh, in Sanford, uh, is where most of the the slaves lived in that area. Uh, but uh, it has an interesting history. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I, I, I don't know enough, but I the, should. The port towns in Miami uh, was different in the sense that it was a port town. Ships came in. Mm -hmm. And the port towns were less discriminatory than inner ports, inner, I mean, inner communities. Why, do you, because, why is that? Because the ships needed people to, to, uh, to, 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 run to work them. on them. So and I they got they didn't people care. from all over the world. Right. And they didn't care what color you were once you got on that ship. I mean, by the nature of what they're even doing. Yeah. They, they don't even live anywhere. They just work and they travel. Uh, yes. And, so. Uh, so the ports along the East Coast, uh, Savannah, where my roots are, mm -hmm. Savannah was a lot more liberal than any other part of Georgia. Mm -hmm. Because the, the port the cities and we had Chinese and everybody else coming into that port. And they didn't have time for the foolishness. They need to get the work done, right? And get the ships out. I had, uh, I had, I was dead tired like two nights ago, and went into some coffee shop in Winter Park. So I don't remember if I heard this correctly, but I was sitting there trying to get work done, and there was a bunch of older guys who were having like a reunion or something at mm -hmm. the coffee table next to me, and they were saying, I don't know why they were talking about this, but they were talking about that one of them had went to a city where like. Uh, General Sherman or something was like born and he said that he came to Savannah, Georgia and said it was like the, a town that was too beautiful to burn or something like that. So he like left it. I have no idea what any of this means. No, I, but, I've never heard of that story. But that's what I heard. My only experience in Savannah is we went with my whole family one time and we stayed at a bed and breakfast and we saw men in black in the bed and breakfast and the, the bad guy in Men in Black 1 is, a, is secretly a giant cockroach. <laughs> and when the scene happened where he turned into the giant cockroach, cockroaches started coming out of the television in real life. <laughs> so that's my only memory of Savannah. <laughs> so well, it's, it's another city you want to put on your... I want to go back because I've heard good things about it, but well, I only have one bad memory. It's absolutely gorgeous city. Yeah. Absolutely. I know Nicole wanted to get married there at one point. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. That whole port area, the the long tree streets, the uh, the housing, the old revised mansions, and uh, rows and rows of bricks housing, and every house has a set of flowers in front of it. Mm. And the wrought iron decorations, mm -hmm. 
He's right. It was too pretty to burn down. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. She wanted to get, I think she wanted to get married in like some like train museum or some like where they have a bunch of like train parts, like uh, sections sitting out somewhere in Savannah. Oh, I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. It was something like, it was something like that, but I don't know. I, I again, I only have to Well, it's a good place to go for a weekend. Yeah. And get in the carriage and let the carriage take you around. And, yeah. Yeah. I'd definitely be interested in doing that. Yes, it's, it's a quick trip. I mean, mm -hmm. your daddy could drop you off up there in the airport. <laughs> I mean, an honestly. <laughs> it's, how far is it from, like, Jacksonville Beach, Jacksonville? Oh, well, it's not far at all. Savannah, because Georgia's the next state. Yeah. So it's got to be two, two hours, hours maybe? maybe? Not even that far. If not from not from Jacksonville, maybe an, an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, it can't be that far. No, because Carol and I went up. It was two and a half hours from here. Okay. And so Jacksonville is an hour and a half, 90 miles. So it would just be the remaining yeah, hour less, then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you and your, your lady could drive up there. On, yeah, yeah. I've, the I've been, I've, I accidentally ended up in Amelia Island one time. I, I, was, I was filming a thing for a video that we did before, right on the corner of where, like those, those corner islands that go up yeah, into Amelia. Yeah. And I just ended up in Amelia Island, and suddenly it became this like super bougie place. And I was like, "Where am I? I guess I'm in Georgia." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's so beautiful along there. Yeah, it is. But, uh, yeah. John, yeah. you have yeah. typhoid. Oh, all right. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Right. Typhoid. I'm done. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what to do with your typhoid. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll just continue and see what happens. Oh, typhoid fever is bad. Your health is poor. <laughs> Now, uh, uh, we gotta find some place for me to to rest yeah, out. Yeah, You're now at the South Pass. It seems like it's a pretty trafficked area. Hopefully, somebody's got some. Well, medicine. in 1848, there was a lot of traffic. Yeah, you weren't too far from the gold rush. Right. Yeah. It, it should have been around that time. Yeah. Uh, can we like trade for medicine or something? We have like tons of everything. Yeah. I don't know. Is, is, there, is there medicine for typhoid? I, I don't think so. Yeah. And this guy doesn't have any. Uh, a Mormon traveler tells you, My family and I travel with 40 other families to the valley of the Great Salt Lake to seek religious freedom. Back East, Mormons are persecuted, and Utah will join together to build a new community, changing desert into farmland. Yeah. You sure did. Yeah. Um, That's how you got that big Mormon community out there. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I don't know if there's, I mean, we can stop and rest, but I don't know if there's anything well, else we got to do. If I got, yeah, I got the fever, I, we got to stop. How many days do you think? Well, I think we, we got to stop at least a week. Right, so yeah. seven? Yeah. Let's try this. All right, it looks like, yes, the days are passing. Your health is recovering. It says you're in fair health now. I must be a pretty strong dude. <laughs> 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 For real. Yeah. All right, you ready to rock? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, so you actually have uh, options here. Uh, you can head for the Green River Crossing, or you can go for Fort Bridger. You want to see the map? See the map, yeah. So uh, where is... I don't even know where the Green River... I guess the Green River... Oh, you know what it is? So we're at South Pass. We're halfway. Yeah. Fort Bridger is... Uh, is a detour yeah. but you can also take your chances with the river and go quicker across now you only have one you right yeah. so the game ends if you die but uh you know we have lots of other if you lose things on the journey other than your life you'll probably be fine <laughs> um so we can either take our chances with the river or we can take the long way and go to fort bridger but you know again we we might if you're all the way out in Fort Bridger and there's not another stop for a while, then maybe, you know... Well, let's take our chances. Let's take our chances. What the hell? Why else are we playing a game? Yeah. You know, head for the Green River Crossing. Here we go. It's only 57 miles. That's not too bad. We have 91 pounds of food. And you have a fever already. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, Lord. So, how long for the fever, you think? I well, a uh, fever could... I think we got to do another week. Okay. Yeah. Uh, stop but to then rest. then we're going to get in trouble with the weather. Yeah. At some point, we take too friggin' long. Yeah, and we might eat through all of our food. Yeah. 
Uh, alright, let's look at our supplies. We have 77 pounds of food. We might want to try to do some hunting yeah. real quick. Let's do this. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus! Anything? I have like no way of aiming this. And there's no animals. Yeah. Oh. Come on! Squirrel. He just ducked out. Like, Come back. <laughs> oh, I hit space again and I, I like that you can't fire that rapidly. I don't think I can even hit off. A bear? Come back, come back. No! I got him. Yes. Oh, two bears! Yeah. 230! That's right, you guys, you just ruined this. <laughs> killed all the animals out there. I know. Yeah, they just went out and like, come on, please! <laughs> 230 pounds of meat. I know. They said He's I can only bring 100 back, so there's just a dead bear out there. Yeah. Bear and a half. That's right. Alright, let's keep it moving. We have plenty of food. Our health is fair. You broke your leg, John. I don't know what rest is going to do kind for. What game is this? <laughs> I don't know what rest is going to do at this point. I can't hunt. I yeah. can't walk. Uh, do I have anybody around to help me? Uh, you got to stop. I, you have to stop. You don't. Yeah. You uh, stop to rest. How many days? I don't know. I don't know. A broken leg. It depends it's, on where it's broken. All right. You want to just say seven again? Yeah. Just seven. give it a week. <laughs> just give it a week to heal. <laughs> It's that settler energy. Uh, it feels like I'm gonna just up the the ration because it feels like you're getting injured way more often when your filling isn't higher, right? Well, that's just cause me to break my neck. I don't know. Maybe you're just you're just like woozy or not making the right decisions, you know? <laughs> let's 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 boost it up. Inadequate grass. Come on. Here we go. You die. <laughs> what? <laughs> you took a swig of water and you just died? I thought we upgraded your food! Uh, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, got down, got down the wrong pipe. <laughs> oh my god. It says, John has died. Press enter to size up the situation. What situation is there to size up? I'm dead? You're like, yeah. <laughs> Well, with that said, I think that's it for the Oregon Trail. He was in good health. He outlived all of his contemporaries. And the he was- family. Uh, yeah. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, yeah. right, right before those guys get to the Green River <laughs> Crossing, they'll see here lies <clears throat> Yeah, the typhoid is not somebody to mess with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Neither is the broken leg. <clears throat> you have infections and... It should say, it should say, here lies John. <clears throat> he broke his leg and figured he'd give it a week. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to write on the epitaph? Uh, uh, he was a gamer. <laughs> Never gave up. Oh god, it's not letting me. Hello? <laughs> he. <laughs> he. It doesn't like H. Oh. Was. <laughs> game. He never gave up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he, he, he never gave up. Alright. <laughs> oh, what I like to write on it. Yeah. He was a gamer. He never gave up. Yeah. Also, broken. <laughs> also broken leg. No changes. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>